We're going to turn to the showdown now on Capitol Hill over that controversial FISA memo. The highly classified document alleges abuse of power at the top of the FBI. It could be released as early as today. In an interview yesterday with Fox News host Brian Kilmeade, White House Chief of Staff General John Kelly hinted that we will see that explosive memo and could see it very soon. But the FBI has been pushing back. Well, first they were stonewalling, not giving the documents that Congress was asking for. But right after uh, the, the, it became clear that we may see this memo today, the FBI uh, issued this statement, reading in part, we have grave concerns about material omissions on of fact that fundamentally impact the memo's accuracy. Meanwhile, House Intel Committee member Adam Schiff is accusing the chairman of the committee, Devin Nunes, of altering the memo before sending it to the White House. Joining us now, former Republican National Committee chairman, former Mississippi governor, and BGR Group founding partner, Haley Barber. Good to see you, sir. Thanks so much for joining us. Oh, Maria, thank you for having me. Your reaction to this latest uh, back and forth on the FISA memo controversy? Well, you know, anytime we're talking about security, uh, we're talking about the government spying or, or, or taking information that is otherwise classified, you have to be careful. But what's going on here is Congress is doing its job of looking at how things are handled and just like we ought to be careful about intelligence generally, we need strong oversight over that intelligence. That's the best way to make sure that they only do what they're supposed to do. So it makes total sense, I think, to most people. We need to find out what actually happened. Haley, I wanted to ask you about that and just maybe an observation on the media. Folks in our industry, a lot of them spend a lot of their time trying to make classified information public. Uh, a lot of news organizations uh, employ a lot of people trying to get non-public information in Washington and make it public. In this case, I, I would have to say a lot of our uh, media brethren are not necessarily that eager, it seems, to pull out this particular piece of potentially classified data. Well, it's another, it's just another indication of the balkanization of the media that, that uh, people take sides. The liberal media elite has their view, conservative groups, uh, media organizations have theirs. But in this case, what we really need to do is protect the American people. And if government agencies, whether it's a respected agency like the FBI or any other government agency, is not playing by the rules, it's Congress' job through oversight to put a stop to that, and one of the ways you put a stop to it is you shine the sunshine on it. Kelly, this is Heather Higgins. Um, hey, Heather. Hey, how are you? And, and I'm so glad for you that when you were arrested for having a gun that you were in Mississippi and not New York. Um, as you went through TSA, uh, you are so fortunate that you were not here. Um, the question that I have for you is what do you think, presuming that the memo gets released, what becomes the relationship between the FBI and DOJ and the oversight committees? Well, any time uh, an agency of government gets criticized or there's oversight that shows that they did something they shouldn't have done or didn't do something that they should, of course, that creates tension. That's human nature. Haley, you want to just explain that? Because Heather just talked about you getting arrested. We want to make sure that obviously now it's the <laughs> elephant in the room. <laughs> Tell us what happens. Well, uh, before Christmas, I moved a handgun from one place to another by putting it in my briefcase. And that was before Christmas. I didn't think about it. On the 2nd of January, I caught a plane and absent-mindedly had not taken the handgun out of my briefcase. So it showed up as I went through uh, security, and the security people did just exactly what they were supposed to do. They found it. They treated me just like anybody else. And uh, I don't know if arrested is the technically right word, but I went up and sat down with them, made a statement. Because, uh, look, it was totally unintentional. Right, of course. Carelessness. Right. But... I did it, and yeah. so they did the right thing. I, and I will say about the security people, both federal and local, they were professional, but they were polite, they were courteous, yeah, uh, and they did just what they should have done. Thank you for addressing it, Haley, um, and thank you, Heather.